Rightio, so um, I'm going to soak the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey oak chips in some alcohol. So I picked this up from my dad. It's uh, 80 or 85 percent ethanol, which he's uh, distilled from his still, uh, which he is by chance uh, selling on and, and getting some other equipment. So it looks like we're going to probably do some beer together, which will be really cool. Um, so anyway, this is about 80, 85 percent, and what I want to do is kind of just pick roughly the 10% line and add that much back into it of pre-boiled water. I'm going to just wait for that water to cool down. And by doing that, um, we'll water it down to circa 70, 75% alcohol. Um, now with ethanol, 70% uh, is a sweet spot and is actually a sanitizer. So that'll work brilliantly perfectly spot on for sanitizing and and keeping the oak chips safe uh, while we're fermenting the beer so of course once the beer has fermented then we're kind of going to do a secondary type thin thing <clears throat> and add the lot in so my plan is to once we've got this to roughly 70 percent alcohol we're then going to slowly add these and shake them up to kind of let them soak it up and hopefully they'll settle. We'll, we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, end result is that ends up in there soaking for maybe a week or two uh, and then that into the beer. So that's where we're up to for now. Um, so I'll probably get on with that now just while I'm home for lunch. Um, probably a 10 minute job. So see how we go. Um, cheers. So there you have it. Um, ridiculously, it, it did fill the jar. You can see just at the top there we've got the line of, of fluid. Um, and it's already taken colour, which is quite amazing really. I mean, in there long. Um, but yeah, it's... <laughs> these, these oak sawdust type chips, man, they really fill a gap, so... What I'll probably have to do is um, use a, a, a gauze cloth or a cheese cloth or something like that, sanitize it, and then just dump all this into that. It's probably going to be the way this will go. <clears throat> but um, no, I'm pleased, pleased to have that in there. So I'll just keep that at, um, probably just keep it there at room temperature for a little while. And um, yeah, like I said, just, just let the beer ferment and then pitch it. Cool.